Guys, 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 I'm freaking out. Guys, I'm freaking out. Welcome back. <laughs> So as you can see by the title of this video, I'm going for my first smear test, also known as cervical screening. Yeah! Yay! I got a letter a few days ago telling me that I've still not booked a smear test. Don't shout at me. I've been avoiding it for about three years. Anybody watching this, that's so bad, it's so bad. Obviously like, it's not a nice experience for anyone. And I've watched so many videos and stuff and like people's different stories and experiences. I'm just a bit scared. To be honest, right, I know it's gonna be awkward. I'm gonna have to like... We all have the same bits and they've seen hundreds. So it's not really that. The awkwardness I can cope with. I think I'm more concerned that it's gonna be painful. I mean, that's my main worry actually, that it's just gonna hurt. I've ignored it for such a long time. And I got this letter the other day and I was like, you can't ignore this anymore. You need to just go and do it. So uh, I'm gonna ring the doctors up in a minute. I'm gonna book an appointment. <laughs> oh, why am I laughing? I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. You are oh, in the queue and your call will be answered shortly. Um, hi, I've had a cervical screening letter and so I'm wondering if I can just book an appointment for that. Oh, of course. What's the name, please? Um, Siobhan Webb. Don't suppose. It's really short. I don't suppose you could do ten past five today, could you? Do ten past five today, could you? Um, yeah, that, that should be fine. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I just rang to book my appointment. Yeah. And they said, can you come today at 10 past five? Right, get there then. Go Mom! On. I was gonna say no at first, and then I was like, no. no I was like, yeah, no. go on then, fine. Oh my God. Oh God, am I over exaggerating here? Cause I feel like I'm gonna poo myself now. That never happens, that never happens. You normally ring up and they give you like two months in advance today. <laughs> Guys, 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 I'm freaking out. Guys, I'm freaking out. It's quarter to five and I'm on my way to the doctors and I'm so nervous it's kind of not even funny anymore. Uh, right, I'll see you when I get there. I have arrived and uh, keep telling myself it's gonna be fine. It's nothing, it's gonna be fine. Millions of women do this and it's fine. Originally my mum was gonna come with me, but like, I think that would make me worse. I think if I go in by myself I know that I'm on my own and I've, I've got to do it and I am really nervous and if anyone else is out there and you're scared too don't worry it's normal to be scared because I am pooing myself. Right I'm gonna wait like another five minutes and then I'm gonna go in. I'll see you when I come out. <coughs> Hi guys! <laughs> so I've done it <laughs> um, and I'm being a bit of a baby. I just think like the whole experience was just a bit overwhelming it did really hurt i'm not gonna lie like it didn't last very long hopefully it's okay and it all comes back okay i'll talk to you some more when i get back home and when i'm not crying <sighs> okay so i'm back home and i've had my tea and i've had a bath so basically i just want to like go through like exactly what happened so that you know exactly what to expect when you go the woman that i had she was so lovely and tried to keep me comfortable all the time so you go in and they just ask you like some questions are you on any contraception do you smoke do you drink when was your last period all these different things and then i got weighed as well and then she like told me to go behind this little curtain and obviously like undress also i would advise that you wear a skirt of some form so that when you have to like take your bottom half off you're not just standing there like in the nud like i don't know i just felt a bit more comfortable that i had a skirt on and then you get onto the bed and then she makes sure that you're comfortable in the right position and everything and it was all fine she was really lovely and then obviously the test happens and i wish that i could tell you that it didn't hurt but i experienced some pain but she again like she kept asking me if i was okay and i said it, it really hurts and then she changed it for a smaller 
speculum, which helped, but it still quite painful. But, you know, I just lay back and was like, just do it. So a speculum is basically, it's like a thing that's this type of shape and that goes in and they open it up so they can see into like your cervix. Then they use this brush and that goes in, takes some swabs of the cervix, comes out and that's it. A lot of people said that the brush on the cervix is the thing that felt most uncomfortable to them. I didn't even feel that if I'm being honest. I didn't even know that that had happened. The thing that hurt me was a speculum. But again, everyone's different and I don't want anyone to be put off by that, but I just wanted it to be as honest as possible. I've had no pain afterwards. Some people say that they have like cramps, like period pains for a bit afterwards and I've not experienced any of that. Yeah, that pain probably lasted like 15 seconds, if that. And then she was like, right, you're done. And I was like, okay, I'm done, excellent. And that was it. The majority of people don't even experience pain anyway. I think I've just been unlucky in that sense. But like, would you rather have 15 seconds of pain or not have the rest of your life? I think that part of the reason it was painful is because I was so tense. And obviously it's easy to be like, just relax, like just take deep breaths and relax. But obviously it's really hard once you're actually in that position. But like, now I feel that next time I go, I'd feel so much more confident and so much more relaxed. Even though I did experience pain, I'm going back in three years because it was 15 seconds of my life. The results take two to six weeks. Hopefully everything will be fine. I think I'm worried about obviously having like abnormal cells come back, but then also having like an inconclusive test. Like they didn't get enough cells and I'd have to go back again for another one. Also, I have had like a bit of spotting, like a little bit of blood, but apparently that's normal and that happens sometimes like when you're because your cervix isn't used to being touched by anything so when it sometimes it's sensitive and it can bleed a little bit so that's absolutely normal if that happens it's important to remember that it doesn't normally hurt so like of all the videos and stories that i've read people have said that it doesn't hurt it's just like a weird uncomfortable feeling and i wish that i could tell you the same but for me it did hurt but now i have done it for the next three years oh, i'm getting emotional again <laughs> because I actively put it off for such a long time. I built it up to be this huge thing and now it's over and <sighs> yeah, even though I cried, I'm really proud that I've been. If I can do it, you can go and do it. So this is a sign to stop putting it off and just go and get it done because you'll feel so much better when you do. It's so important that you do go because it literally could save your life. It's worth it. We're all in this together. So you're not on your own, just go and get it done. And like, I don't want anyone to be put off by the fact that I cried afterwards. Like, I, I didn't know whether to include that in the video because I didn't want to put anyone off. But then I wanted it just to be honest and be my honest experience, so I've kept it in. I just felt emotional by the whole thing because it was just really overwhelming and I'd finally done it and this, it was this huge relief and I think that was a big part of that as well. What a day, what a day, what a day. Didn't expect that when I woke up this morning. Anyway, thank you for watching. I know this video wasn't as fun or entertaining maybe as I usually are, I don't know. But I'm hoping that this at least has helped somebody. I don't, hopefully if it helps one person or makes at least one person just go and do it, then obviously like job done. So I'm gonna go now and get in my bed. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, whatever you, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Hopefully you'll come back. And if you need to book a smear test, do it now, do it now. Because it feels great once you've done it. I promise, I'm going. So I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Love you all, bye.